Bill stole a car. I didn't steal it. I bought it for Lynn. I don't believe it. It would have been here last week, but I held out for red. I don't believe it. It's true. Everybody wants red. Alf, how did you buy this car? I got it through my broker. Broker? What broker? The one I hired to sell the gold from my spaceship. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just take this one step at a time. You bought a car? Yes. The papers are in that envelope. You have gold? Had gold. All the plumbing on my ship was gold. Except for the bidet. That was platinum. Uh-huh. Alf, this is the most wonderful present anyone has ever given me. Oh, you're just saying that. No! No, I mean it. It's, it's incredible. Schechter, Kosei, and Klein, investment brokers. Dear Alf, congratulations, or should I say, congratulazione. I've sold the balance of your gold and will invest the proceeds in that mango farm in Oxnard. All the best, Joel. Look at this interior. The dashboard is burled mahogany, grown in the Ferrari family's private arboretum. And check out these wheels. Chrome. From Rome. Oh, feel this leather. Virgin ox. Albino virgin. Oh, my gosh, Willie, look, a cellular phone. Programmed for speed dialing. Come on, Willie. Park your carcass on that virgin ox. Yeah, come on, Dad. Uh, yeah, Dad, park it. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not getting in that car. I can't. Alf, we're not keeping the car. What? Why not, Dad? Yeah, Willie. How come? Because it's wrong. Because it's wrong. Why don't we just need to point that into a sampler? <laughs> no, we're not keeping a car that costs 60000 Ninety. Ninety thousand. Ninety thousand dollars. What's bugging you, Willie? Is it that your daughter drives a better car than you do? That has nothing to do with it. We are returning this car. Call Joel. I can't. He's in Palm Springs till Thursday. Dad, please. I'll let you drive my car anytime you want. You want to see how the Gucci airbag works? It's obvious you cannot have a rational conversation in the presence of a Ferrari. All right. We'll go into the kitchen. No, we'll go into the kitchen. You stay here. Come on, Lynn. Don't touch that airbag. Fine. I'll just preset the radio. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I'm the ogre. I'm the wet blanket. Willie, no one is thinking that. I am. Me too. I see. Dad, you're not being fair. The car was a gift. No, 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 no. A gift is a tie tack, a pen and pencil set, maybe a bowl. We have all of those. We need a car. Look, I think we're losing sight of what we agreed on here, that things are appreciated more when they're earned, not when they're just handed to us. There's no way I could appreciate this more. I'm sorry, Lynn. I'm sorry. I just don't think that a 16-year-old girl should have a $90,000 Ferrari unless she's a professional tennis player. I'm not above taking tennis lessons. I don't think that's what your father meant. I'm afraid the car is going back. This is insane. We're actually going to give back a free Ferrari. Yes, we are. First thing tomorrow. But Joel's in Palm Springs. I'll talk to Schechter. I'll talk to Klein. It doesn't matter. Lynn, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry about this, but this is the way I feel. And I think in time, You'll come to respect my decision. It, it may not be today. <laughs> Obviously, it won't be today. It won't be tomorrow, either. <laughs> Willie? No, no, no. This is not happening. <laughs> oh, my God. Outflayed robber! <laughs> He's gone. There's an alien out there on the road somewhere in a red Ferrari. Maybe no one will notice. What do we do, Dad? We can't call the police. We can't call the auto club. We, we can't even call Joel. 
Well, he couldn't have gotten very far. Okay, if that car goes 180 miles an hour, he could be in Mexico by now. We've got no choice. We've got to call the police. All right, all right. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go next door and try to borrow Trevor's car. Dad, it's for you. Not now, not now. Just tell whoever it is. I'll, I'll call him back later. He's gonna have to call you back later, Alf. Alf! <laughs> Alf! <laughs> Willie, my man, I gotta tell you, this thing flies like the wind. <laughs> Where are you? Where? What happened? I don't know. All I did was turn the engine on. Before I knew it, I was on the freeway. What freeway? The one headed for Oxnard. <laughs> hey, while I'm there, I think I'll check out that mango farm. Forget the mango farm. That's easy for you to say. You're not a limited partner. <laughs> nice move, buddy. Yeah, you're another one. Billy, where is he? He's on his way to Oxnard. Oxnard. Alf, Alf, pull off the road. Pull the car off the road. I can't. I'm in the fast lane. <laughs> Although you'd never know it by the way these clowns are driving. Come on, lady. This ain't a parade. Al, don't yell at the other drivers. They'll see you. No way. I'm driving too fast. Hey, ever hear a turn signal? <laughs> Just look, Al. Listen to me. Look at the road signs. Try to find out. Look at exactly where you are. Well, uh, I just passed the Motel 6. Hey, they're having a beekeeper's convention. Ouch! Ow! 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 Oh, gotta go! Tell me! Tell me where you are! Okay, okay, I I'm right near the... Alf! Alf! Oh, no! <laughs> 